Tom Brady in New England was known for his straightforward, no-nonsense press conferences, but now that he's won it all in Tampa, he's living his best life. Today on Buccaneers.com, Brady and Rob Gronkowski talked about playing until Brady is 50 years old. Listen. Can Tom Brady play until 50 years old? Wow. Seems to be a really hot question lately. Can Tom Brady play till 50? Like 50 years old. Yeah. 50. 50. You're 44, that's six more years. I think, I mean, I don't find it so difficult. And plus in the Florida, it's kind of a retiree state. So I feel like I can play and then just glide into retirement. I think I can, I think it's a yes. Let me, let me bring Lewis <laughs> Riddick and Jeff Darlington back into this. But guys, as the Tom Brady's gonna fall off the cliff guy, right? I gotta say something <laughs> about this first. Right. Look. When I said that, I wasn't making some crazy prediction. I noticed that in the history of mankind, no one had ever been a great quarterback past the age of 42. And Tom Brady was like 40 when I said it, or something like that. I gave him 18 months to fall off the cliff. He has so smashed that, that it's, it's crazy. He's mm -hmm. so far of, out ahead of everybody who ever lived, it's nuts. And what I realized over time is, I, he's transcendent. I was making the wrong comparison. I was just comparing pe Tom Brady to people in his sport. But if you look at, like, Nolan Ryan and the number of years and innings he pitched and how late into life he pitched, or Bernard Hopkins, the great middleweight champion, yeah. who was still beating guys when he was, like, 50 years old, those are the real comparisons I needed to be making for Tom Brady, who could know at that time, right? But, guys, what that tells me is I wouldn't rule out him playing till he's 50. Hopkins fought till he was 50. Nolan Ryan to his late 40s. Satchel Paige, who, who knows how old he actually was. Guys, I can't just rule it out. Lewis? Yeah, I wouldn't rule it out either. And look, I think this is such a, this is such a unique situation. Look, I, I think Tom has always been, look, from an athletic standpoint, he's never been the guy who relied on his athletic ability per se. His movement skills, his movement fluidity, his quickness, explosiveness. He's always been a guy who's played the game primarily from the neck up, and he has been average at best from the waist down, but good enough to be able to keep himself upright and keep him out of harm's way. So he's always been a guy who's been very cerebral. He's a guy who's taken, as, this, as his career has gone on, obviously you see how he's changed. I mean, just look at him. He don't even look the same as he did when he was a rookie. His face has gotten younger looking. He's, he looks he's better now than he did as a rookie. <laughs> he lo aesthetically looks better now true. than he did as it's a rookie. Undeniable. So it's like, wait a minute, <laughs> what's going on here? So if you think of it that way, I never relied on my legs anyway, never relied on my escapability anyway. My arm's getting stronger. I'm eating better. I look younger. I'm taking care of myself. I'm in Florida. The game, the game itself is different than it was, and he alluded to that already. The game isn't the same as it was in the 2000s. Right. It's not as physical. They take, they're taking care of quarterbacks. You can't breathe on anybody without getting a personal foul. That's right. Hell, Tom may play until he's 55. He may play until he's my age. Yeah, hey, Jeff, that's true. I mean, I remember the linebacker on the Chiefs a couple of years ago. I forgot who it was already. Had Tom Brady wrapped up and was so afraid of a roughing the passer, he let him go. Brady walked, literally walked <laughs> yeah. into the end zone as someone who's also afflicted with this you get better looking as you get older disease. Uh, Jeff, I don't want to comment on that. You know, I have special insight into it, but I'd like to know what you think about it. The, the, what I'll say quickly is the amazing thing about Tom Brady is we always expect someone to get defeated by father time. The one thing I'll say is the one thing I could see driving Brady away from the game before he even needs to leave is that he does have other outside interests. I mean, it's fascinating. Like, the people that watch the games with – Giselle and in his suite are billionaires. They're like these moguls who are like doing all these crazy things. It's not the same for him as it is for everyone else to the point where I could see him wanting to do other things, which that's, that to me is one of the most fascinating elements of the whole thing. <laughs> Thank you guys. From the NFL to a huge college football weekend.